Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here and for joining me for your current energies reading. We'll be having a look at where the current energies are for you right now, according to the tarot. And we'll have a look and see what's coming up for your person as well. If they're going to come up in the reading, what's sort of involved, what you could be facing currently at this present time. So please be advised, this can be for air signs watching and those cross watchers dealing with an air sign so if you're dealing with a gemini libra aquarius um, this reading can be applicable for you so let's let's shuffle some cards and see what comes up Okay, air signs, there's been some sort of disruption or disturbance in the force here for you. There's Virgo and Libra signs have come up. So some of you may be dealing with one of these signs here. The Hermit is a figure of solitude and it's almost like air signs, you've been left on your own. So some of you are sort of struggling a little bit. You feel outcasted in a current love situation or you feel like you want to be alone or, you know, maybe someone has left you, maybe you've left them. You know, the Virgo is this independent figure. He's a figure of solitude. So for us, for some of you, I feel like justice has been served or something seems really final to you or something has been sort of laid out to you. Um, justice card is karmic and it's something that needed to happen. So there may be a very emotional lesson that you needed to learn this current time. You're not seeing it now though, however, because the high priestess has shown up in the reading and she can represent things that are secret or things that we don't have the answers to. She holds the answers. She's the prophetess. She's the goddess. She's the seer. So she can predict and knows why things have happened the way they have. It's almost as if she personifies destiny here and she's sitting here and she, she's aware of everything that's going on and why it's all happening. But you, it may not be occurring to you yet, air signs. You haven't got this knowledge yet. And I feel for a lot of you, you're being defensive about a situation. Some of you are defensive about an ending, uh, okay? Because you've got the um, you've got the nine. In fact, you have two nines. So there's a double ending that's happened here. Um, maybe something that caught you off guard, something that you didn't see coming. And maybe a part of you feels isolated or lonely with what's happening here. You have the three of swords that's also present. Now, normally when this card shows up, it is a card of deceit, love triangles. So some of you that you have options or there's a love triangle, there's affairs, there's secret energy going on. It could be your person. They may have, you may have found out they're talking to someone else. You know, there may have been some sort of devastating blow or like something that's been really, you know, impacted you in a very, very profound way. Um, this card is reversed though. And I find that really interesting because I feel like with it reversed, you're either learning to deal with it or you've just accepted what has happened. Um, you're defensive about it, but I feel like you just, you feel a bit lost right now, lost where you are with the hermit. The hermit is like, he wanders around, he tries to find purpose and understanding of a situation. And maybe some of you are going into this kind of energy and you're obsessing over this because the hermit's represented by the Virgo. And the Virgo thinks and overthinks and tries to analyze and understand, you know, had I done this or should I have done that? Did I, would I have changed anything if I responded differently? Um, so it's almost like you're thinking about something and you're playing it over in your mind over and over and over again. And obviously this is an important relationship because you've got the the justice card it is libra and energy um this is about your counterpart so for some of you this is in regards to what you believe maybe your soulmate your other half your best friend your partner in crime your lover and there's something final that has happened between the both of you you know, I always see like with the Justice card, things seem so final, they're, they're, they're in concrete, they're etched in. Now, I don't know if you've heard some words recently that, you know, feel so concrete and feel like nothing's ever going to change, um, you know, or you've there's an ultimatum that's been thrown out by, by you or by someone that you've been dealing with. Um, and I feel like with a Justice card coming up, this could be symbolic of that. For some of you, it could be legalities. So we've got 
legal connections, divorces, marriages, births, weddings, any sorts of certificates that are coming up around this current energy. Even conversations about those things are coming up because the hermit is ruled by Mercury. I, I, Mercury is the, the, the messenger of the gods. So there may be a message that's coming in here for you, a message that will help you sort of put things together, if that makes any sense, um, or a message that you feel needs to be answered. The high priestess is here, so, you know, she holds the Torah, and this is like gospel. So there's something that might be, might have been said or communicated, and it seems really final, and you're either taking it as gospel, so you're believing it word for word, or there's a message here from the universe that you should take it word for word, you should treat it like gospel. Now, I'm not sure if many of you have heard that quote. It's like, it means basically to take something literally like gospel. Like, it's the rule book, that's it. Someone said something, that's final. Nothing's going to change. So, it's hard to say at this point. Um, but for some of you, it's it could have this double meaning. She does rule the number two, so there's a double meaning to it. It's like, um, it's either not to take things so literally or to take them so literally. But I think at the end of the day, your behavior or your person's behavior is going to show all of that. And the card of action, which is the bonds, fire is action and activity, um, is, is the nine of ones. And the nine of ones is not taking any action. So I would be wary of what someone is communicating to you versus what they're actually doing because they're two different things. They both are represented by the number nine though. Now nine, as much as it's a, a, a number of endings, it's a number of fulfillment and wisdom and understanding something. So there's either a very harsh, hurtful, or horrible lesson that you've needed to learn or you've needed uh, some, you, you've sort of needed to be there to help someone else learn this lesson and it might've been your person. Um, but there's there's inaction. The nine of ones doesn't take action. He protects his interests. So it's almost like inaction that's being taken right now or the best course of action is not to act too impulsive because the ones can be super impulsive and sometimes they can land us in hot water. So there may be a message here not to be too impulsive um, about something. Give it some time. Protect your heart. Protect your mind. Protect your energy because that might be the most important thing because the high priestess, she's, she's protective as well. She's, she's intuitive. So you could be highly intuitive at this time through dreams, premonitions, you know, be guided by your inner self, your, in, your intuition, because it might be trying to tell you something. Okay. Something that is currently happening around you and your relationships. I will leave it at that. So thank you so, so much, Air Science, for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful and I do hope to be in touch again very, very soon. So take care, everyone, and bye for now.